Cunningham from the far Vancouver, not the close Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> and away we go. So this was our first workshop. This was talking about our boing, thou, thou shalt, shalt boing. boing. And boing is a sound effect that refers to the elastic effect of our dance, which is the character of West Coast Swing. And if you ain't got elasticity in our dance, you ain't doing West Coast Swing. You're just walking around doing fancy patterns. So rather than our swing looking like this, and we're just moving kind of at a constant pace, and at the end of it, just moving very stiffly, we want to have that boing Whoop. and that juiciness Ooh. to the dance. Three and, <gasps> and away we go. So to do that, we talked about our castle, our connection, anchor, stretch, lead. Connection is t taken by getting decent grip in our fingers, by getting our tension set away from each other via our distance, so connection, not via our muscle. Connection has to be more specific. It's a tension connection, not just any old connection. Right, because as soon as we're leaning in on each other, we're now in a compression tension or compression, compression connection, connection, and that's definitely. We a don't want it to be situation. flexion because that creates a W. We're going for the scoop of a telephone wire. Right, so we're much further apart. From here, we can anchor. Remember, the anchoring is just settling our weight away from our partner. Generally, we want to keep our fly facing our partner and our weight on our heel, unless we're again facing away from each other. From here, we can stretch. Stretching is the action of taking my center away from my hand. So we want to continue beyond our anchor to the point that we're holding each other up. If we let go, we're going to have to fall on each other. But it's so only a split second, so it's no big deal. We use that to boing. boing. And the drill at home is you guys can just keep boinging off of each other, changing your hand holds, getting used to that elbow and shoulder, making the boinging feeling in your body. By relaxing your muscles so that your elbow can expand almost all the way to straight and your arm can lift in your shoulder but not turn your shoulder in. Right. From there, then we have our lead. Leading is the action of taking my hand and my center in the same direction. So I find my anchor. I stretch my girl. Boy. Now I'm loaded like a slingshot and can be led forward. And I keep going forward with Newton's law of inertia because objects in motion keep going until acted upon by an outside force. And I don't need to be hauled down uh, the slot. Uh, uh. Once I get given inertia, I will keep going. Right. So we just had you guys work on this a million and a half times, just working on boinging each other all day long. To uh, put it into perspective, we did a little pattern. We did an underarm turn here. One, two, three, and four. Guys, on four, I want you to post her by creating a little bit of back tension in your arm to stop her in place. I change my hand on count five. Keeping that post on, I walk in towards her. Hello, on five. <laughs> Flirty but not creepy. Running away on the end, six, and six. Stretching, Stretch boing, more. one, yeah. two, three, and four. So the whole thing looks like this. One, two, three, and post. Hello, run away, boing, two, three. So it's got that nice boingy feeling because this is what happens is a lot of guys end up just dancing it on the spot. Or they get creepy close. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, jerk, two, and they end up throwing the girl down the line of dance via their arm. We definitely don't want that. Great. Ladies, and what you can do if you get Mr. Stiffy or Mr. Rigid, who's not giving you any leeway in the elbow, is you can self-serve your stretch by allowing your center to move away from your hand despite the fact that he's trying to pull the hand with you. So sink deeper into the hip and allow your elbow to expand. If you start to feel heavy, Ugh. that means that you're trying to take your hand with you, and that means that you opened the fridge. For more information on all these techniques, you can check out our website, milesandtessa.com, miles is spelled with a Y, and the video that specifically addresses this topic is called Driver's Manual or Seven Habits of Highly Effective Swing Dancers. Thanks a lot, Bridgetown.